Hey everybody, this is one of the moments I have been waiting for here at IFA 2018. Behind me right now is the Samsung 85 inch 8K QLED television. Now, the uh, beans were spilled quite a while about this television. We knew it was going to be here. Just earlier today though, we got some details on this TV and now we can finally stand in front of it and take a closer look. So one of the things that we learned about the TV is that it offers a 4,000 nit peak brightness. Uh, that's not something we expected. Um, up until now, the highest peak brightness that we'd seen in an LCD-based television was 2,000 nits. So uh, we're talking about something that is uh, clearly capable of a bigger punch in the HDR uh, area. Specular highlights are going to have a lot more impact, even in a room that may be flooded with light. Uh, as we take a look at this TV, we understand that it is supporting HDR10+. That's something that needs a little bit of development, but the idea with HDR10+, is that it can compete with a dynamic uh, HDR uh, product like Dolby Vision. So what we're going to see is a little bit more selective highlights. Um, the big thing about this TV, at least as far as Samsung is concerned, is the 8K upscaling, right? There's no 8K content for us to watch, so why have an 8K TV? Well, Samsung is convinced that 8K is the wave of the future, that they're going to be selling tons of these huge panels in the coming days, uh, excuse me, the coming years, and uh, they want to be prepared for that. So they uh, have outfitted this with a very advanced AI-based upscaling system uh, that references a ton of different reference images in order to optimize the picture. It's looking at it frame by frame, analyzing the detail, and then upscaling 4K content so it looks better on a big screen like this. When 4K came out, a lot of people were talking about, well, 4K doesn't matter at anything under 55 inches. In fact, some people said 4K doesn't matter if you're looking at anything under 65 inches. But once you get up into the 85 to 88, 90, even 100 inch category, you really need to have much higher pixel density in order to see the fine detail without seeing a bunch of pixels. What's happening right now is that TVs are getting bigger, but the living rooms aren't getting any bigger, and people are sitting closer than ever to their televisions. You can get a really great level of immersion out of that, but uh, once you start seeing the pixels, it kind of takes away from the super high resolution. So here we are, we're staring at the future. Like it or not, 8K is here. Uh, Samsung will be shipping this TV within a month, I believe. The price has not been officially announced, but we have it on good authority that it will be less than $20,000, considerably less than $20,000, but definitely more than $10,000. So it's not an inexpensive TV. It's definitely for early adopters. Uh, but you know, if you want the best, this is going to be one of those televisions. Uh, one side note, uh, we're focused on the 85 inch because that's the only size coming to the US. There is an 82, a 75, and what looks like a 65 inch, although it's not labeled, those are not going to be coming to the U.S., at least not right away. I think this means that we're going to hear they are coming to the U.S. at CES. That's my best guess. Demo footage at these things always tends to look good. It's designed to look amazing uh, on these show floor uh, demonstrations. And what I'm seeing here is not just a high level of detail, but really excellent HDR execution. Uh, we're, we're seeing a wide range of uh, shadow detail as well as bright area detail so that section of the sun that you just saw a moment ago didn't completely blank out the entire screen. Um, 4,000 nits is the highest to which any film is currently being mastered. I know that Dolby Vision would like to get up to 10,000 nits, but right now this TV is built to deliver the highest capable HDR range that is being produced in Hollywood right now. And I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more about that from Samsung uh, in the coming days. For now, the advantage of QLED brings uh, deeper blacks, a higher range of color, and they'll point out very quickly that 100% color volume is also available on this TV. So we really are looking at a very advanced set that I think enthusiasts are gonna be excited about. It looks gorgeous. I can't wait to get one in for review, and we expect to do that at the end of September. So be sure to visit Digital Trends for even more in-depth coverage of this 85-inch 8K QLED television from Samsung.